Hello. There are two types of income inequalities. The first ty type of inequality comes from income distribution. That's what has been shown by the recent report of the Paris School of Economics. The second type of inequality comes from the labor market with very different uh, behavior depending on firms. On the first part, just two figures to uh, see the type of inequality that I'm mentioning in this report. Uh, from 1980 to 2016, uh, the uh, top 1% income in the world has uh, captured 27% uh, of the total gross income. Uh, the lowest 50% of the in the income distribution at the global level has just captured 12% of this increase of income. We see a large discrepancy between the top income and the low uh, part of the income distribution. This, may, this has a very simple uh, consequence. Why is it necessary to focus only on GDP growth, as it can be done, it can be done by Donald Trump, for example, if a large part of this increase of the GDP is captured by the top income? The lowest part of the, of, the, of the economy will not be able to improve its situation. So that's something we have to think about and we have to find a, a way to reduce this type of inequalities. The second type of uh, inequalities can be, seen, can be seen at the firm level. In the past, it was easy for economists. They can think that uh, the behavior of firms were almost the same. And so we can have the idea of one company that re represents the all uh, company's behavior. It's no longer the case. What we see uh, since uh, mid first decade of the 2000 uh, is that we have uh, a, a large gap in productivity from very efficient firms uh, compared to the lowest efficient uh, companies. And this is very important because associated with this uh, divergence in productivity, we see divergence in income, in, in wages that are paid by companies. This means that uh, we, we have uh, a non-homogeneous environment on, on, on firm side, and the consequences of that is that we do not see higher wage rate because on average, the, the situation doesn't increase. We do not see higher productivity gains at a global level because uh, there is a compensation between efficient and non-efficient uh, companies. And the question is how to uh, balance this situation. Uh, that's a, a very strong target for all the uh, uh, all, all governments to improve their economic policy to uh, favor the spillover uh, of uh, innovation from very efficient to low efficient firms. That's the target. That's something we have to keep in mind. Income distribution is very inequal now and uh, there is something to do uh, about it. Instead, uh, we risk some kind of political or social instability. And clearly, that's not the, uh, the way, the, the situation we, we want to go. Thank you.